Welcome back to school, Huskies. Here are a few reminders to help keep students and staff safe as they return to campus. By following our safety protocol, students are demonstrating our BARC character traits, behavior, attitude, responsibility, and kindness. Let's begin with the start of the day. Students should arrive between 8 and 8.10 a.m. There is no supervision before 8 o'clock. Students arriving after 8.15 are tardy and need to check in with the office. We have two car lines at Hawkins. The West or Blue car line is located on the gym side of campus and is designated for students with last names beginning with A through J. Our East or Orange car line is located on the kindergarten side of campus and is designated for students with last names beginning with K through Z. Students need to be dropped off in their designated loop based on their last name. Please pull all the way forward and stop at the yellow crosswalk for students to exit the vehicles on the passenger side. Please do not get out of your vehicle or park your car in the car line. Students should be bringing a mask with them to wear to school. Masks will be provided to any student who needs one. We know that the first day of school can be stressful for parents and for students. Since students need to walk themselves to campus, we will have staff escorts, signs, and color-coded pathways to help guide them to the right place. Remember, parents are not allowed on campus. It will be very helpful for younger students to put a sticky note or label on their torso to indicate their name and teacher. This will help ensure that your student makes it to the correct place. Until our K-3 students are comfortable finding their classroom, teachers will be waiting for their class in the center of the quad area. We will have campus helpers escorting students to their teacher's line. Please see this graphic so that you know where your child's line will be. The teacher will then walk their student to their classroom. For our fourth through eighth grade students, we will have color-coded pathways to help them find their teacher's classrooms. Fourth grade will follow the red lines, fifth grade will follow the purple lines, and our sixth through eighth graders will follow the green lines. New safety guidelines allow us to resume our traditional recess. Students will be able to participate in typical recess games and activities. All students will have an opportunity to get school breakfast in the morning or bring a stack, snack from home. All students and staff are required to wear a mask when indoors, regardless of their vaccination status. And while it is highly recommended, masks are not required when outdoors or when eating. Traditional lunch service will return. We have scheduled students to reduce the capacity in the cafeteria while students are eating. This helps us spread students out and maximize the distance between them. Students are expected to wash or sanitize their hands prior to eating, and they will be sitting in classroom cohorts. We will be back to full-time instruction. And remember, on Mondays, all students are dismissed at 1.30 p.m. The rest of the week, our kindergarten to third grade students are released at 2 p.m. and our fourth to eighth grade students are released at 3 o'clock p.m. Don't forget the first day of school is a minimum day. At the end of the school day, students are dismissed from their designated car line based on the first letter of their last name. Remember, the blue car line is for letters A through J, the orange car line is letters K through Z, and parents are not allowed to be on campus, so please stay in your vehicle during pickup. Students will be spaced as much as possible and can use the ground distance markers to help them maintain social distancing. We know car line can sometimes be stressful, but we ask that you all stick to the basic car line etiquette. Remember, due to COVID, we're not doing walk-up pickups. Students need to be picked up in the car line. We ask that you pack, pack your patients to allow for students to get in their car safely. Remember, we have five-year-olds trying to be loaded into their car seats from the car line. So please make sure you are allowing them enough time to do so. Pull all the way forward before students get into the car. 
Do not honk or engage in rude behavior. Remember, the kids are watching. Turn out of the car line in the correct direction to help cut down on congestion at the crosswalk. Now, let's talk about some of our safety protocols that we have in place. On campus, we practice the three W's. Wear a mask, wait apart from each other, and avoid close contact with others. And wash or sanitize your hands. Let's go over each of these so we're ready to return to school. When you choose a mask, be sure you choose one that is two or more layers of washable, breathable fabric. Gators are not considered sufficient masks. Make sure the mask completely covers your nose and mouth. The mask should fit snugly against the sides of your face so it doesn't have any gaps. And avoid masks that make it hard to breathe, have valves or vents, and are really meant for healthcare workers, like an N95 mask. So when do you actually need to wear a mask? Masks must be worn indoors at all times, regardless of your vaccination status. They do not need to be worn at recess, but remember to please be sure and tell your student your family's expectations about taking their mask off outdoors. And students are able to remove their mask while they are eating or drinking. The second W is to wait apart from others and avoid close contact or touching other people. Remember, if you're close enough to touch somebody, you are too close. Use the markers on the ground to help you remember to keep your distance. The third W is for washing or sanitizing your hands. Remember, germs are everywhere. We wash and sanitize our hands to get rid of the germs we get by touching things. Wash thoroughly or sanitize your hands when you get to school, before and after you eat, and after using the restroom. It should take at least 20 seconds. That's the happy birthday song, sung twice. And when soap and water are not available, be sure to use sanitizer and apply all over the front and back of your hands. Each day you come to school, you need to think about how you're feeling and answer the health screener questions. Ask yourself if you're feeling great or sick. If you feel sick, you should stay home. Don't forget to answer the questions on the daily health screener. And if you answer yes to any of them, do not come to school and report it to the school office. Each day, you should remember to bring a clean mask, your charged Chromebook, your notebook, curriculum and supplies, and your water supply for the day. The fountains will not be available. Each fourth through eighth grade student will be issued a Chromebook that they will be responsible for daily. When you get home, be sure to wash your hands, wash your mask, and charge that Chromebook. It's very important to be sure and report all illnesses and COVID exposures and positive COVID tests to the school immediately. Let's work together to prevent infection and protect our students, staff, and families. Many of our students have been out of school routines for over a year. We want to remind them of some of the basic rules. Cell phones should be powered off and in backpacks, not in their pockets. No eating in class or chewing gum. There's no hats inside and students should walk in all of the hallways. At Hopkins, we follow the golden rule and that is to treat others the way you want to be treated. Please also make sure you review the dress code with your student to make sure they're coming to school dressed for success. Thank you so much for taking the time to review this important information and welcome back to school.